That's true. Yeah, that is wind true. chill this evening will be in the 30s as it already is in many communities and there will be some showers in the area. There's already one patch of light rain moving across West Jefferson County uh, coming right down old 78 Highway 5 now through Graysville out I-22. West Jefferson up to Dora over to Good Springs and Parrish and Southern Walker County raining up toward Cordova and Jasper at this point and more scattered showers like these will be moving in throughout the evening. So while it's fairly inconsequential rain, it's a little bit annoying to be in the rain and the wind if you're not prepared for it, especially now that the wind chill is down in the 30s. You can see those showers go all the way up across the Tennessee Valley and up toward the Cumberland Plateau east of Nashville, where some of it is now falling as snow and north of Birmingham tonight. Showers may mix with a little snow or sleet, but with temperatures well above freezing, we don't have to worry about it. Wind chill will be in the 20s tomorrow morning, feeling like about 25 to 30 to start the day. Birmingham at 36 by the time the sun comes up and only getting to 47 with it feels like in the 30s pretty much all day long tomorrow. So here's what the future cast looks like. Notice how it's having a little trouble picking up on the showers that are already in progress. That's a tip off that there will be more than what we see here, but two o'clock in the morning, most of the flurries are up to the north, especially Huntsville, Scottsboro, Fort Payne, Northeast Alabama is going to get a little bit better of it. And then even through midday tomorrow, you see a handful of them here. Sometimes these short term models don't do a really good job of picking up on these little tiny rounds of showers and snow flurries. So here's where we are. The wind chill, not the actual air temperature, thankfully, but the wind chill around 30 at 4 a.m. in Birmingham, 26 Coleman, 28 Bluntsville, by 8 a.m. it drops. It's windier and the temperature not moving. 25 is what it'll feel like in Haleyville and 29 in Ashland. Finally, by midday, maybe you don't have to have a heavy coat, just a coat. 35 is what it feels like in Birmingham and then uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon still feeling like it's in the mid 30s. So Thursday, a chilly day, breezy and cold, high temperatures in the mid 40s. That wind out of the west to northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Maybe not quite as breezy as the last two days have been, but with numbers like that, it's uh, certainly not looking all that comfortable. Friday, we get back out into the sunshine, the high up to 52. But look at these morning low temperatures, 25 at Pell City Friday morning and Jasper 27 out around Maytown and 28 in Pelham. Saturday, we start to see clouds move in again. Rain becomes likely on Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We see that next storm system on the way and that'll bring temperatures back up into the 60s with a good chance of some soaking rain by the middle of next week.